Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a Q&A one and oh something happened right there but I don't know what that was but um, I did go on Instagram and Snapchat and asked you guys to ask me anything for this Q&A video because some of you wanted to see this video and yeah so I'm just going to grab my phone, I can't find it right now and we'll just jump straight into it. Also I do want to say that I am using a new camera and a lens. I really hope you can see a difference in quality and that it has improved and yeah I'm kind of struggling because the camera is super far away because the, the lens that I'm using is a prime lens so it doesn't zoom out or zoom in so I don't know I can't really see I did ask my boyfriend to focus for me but yeah I can't I can't I can barely I can see like roughly but I don't even know if my makeup is alright right now but yeah someone's come to join us look at her little face Somehow she kind of knows that there's like a camera on her. <laughs> She's so cute. I'm going to answer the questions that some of you asked on Snapchat. Um, so here we go. So there's five of you that asked a question on Snapchat. So the first one is Priyanka. And Priyanka asked, she said, hey, how did the Maybelline Fit Me foundation in 315 go for you? And I'm actually wearing it today, but the thing is, it's actually alright, but it, it does kind of make me look pale a bit. So I've been mixing it with my 320, and it's like the perfect shade. I, I have it I have it on today. I really love it, seriously. I'm kind of happy that I did find a good foundation like that one because it's just so nice on the skin. It doesn't really dry me out and the shades, like the um, 320 is quite orangey and the 315 is a bit pink, like the tiniest bit. So when I mix it, the 320 kind of warms it up a bit for my skin tone and it just gives a perfect olive tone and I just love that. So I'm really happy that I have both of them to just mix them up and I, I'm definitely going to be using them a lot. You're just in the background licking us. <laughs> oh gosh. My brother was telling me that cats actually know their names but they really don't care if you are calling them or not. Only if there's food though. So Banu, Banu, sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong. She asked, what is your favourite pizza topping? Love your videos by the way. Oh thank you. Um, well I used to, it's fu funny enough, I used to hate pizzas but now I'm, I've been obsessed with them and like my favourite favorite pizza topping is actually like I only like barbecue sauce most of the time and then I like mushrooms and olives to be on the top and then I don't mind any meats like ham or bacon, not, not, not bacon actually, like chicken or something so yeah those are my favourite so Uma asked what are my views on gay people and he said I'm asking because I'm gay transgender and do you know my views are really normal like I try to not make it a whole big deal because they're just norm like gay people are normal like everyone else they're like straight people or like any other types of people like I just feel like we're just all one type of I, like my English is not good right now but I just see it as like they're just like us they're not different they're just normal do you know there's these videos that um that I've been seeing on YouTube about um coming out as I'm gay and stuff but I feel like you, by posting a video on just saying that you're gay is a bit too much like people are going to make a big deal about it but if you just kind of mention it in a video or like a makeup tutorial or just your general type of video um, it's just going to be like oh okay she's gay or he's gay and then it's not making a big deal out of it and people see it as normal that's what my views are on it, seriously. Even though I am Catholic, <clears throat> I know there's like these restrictions, but do you know what? I don't go to church every Sundays, but I do, I, see when I do these videos, I can't like breathe properly, but I'm, I don't go to church all the time, but that doesn't make me any more or less religious. I do believe in God strongly. I pray every single day and I just feel like, do you know God, would accept anyone and God is loving and I don't see what's the point of like discriminating people that are gay or have different types of interests. So yeah, I really hope I answered your question Uma. So sweet to sweet to yeah. She asked, what's the best part about being a YouTuber and what's and what's the and what's the bane of being one? I sorry, I don't understand what that means. What's the bane of being one? 
Maybe she wanted the right paint. The best part about being a YouTuber, even though I don't really consider myself one, yeah, I do make YouTube videos, but I don't know, I'm just Anushka. <laughs> I just really um, like the fact that I get to kind of talk and do things that interest me, like about makeup and beauty, and then talk about it with other people on the internet that have the same interests as me, and you can just talk about all these things together. Um, that's what I love the most. I really love answering your comments. I just love filming, I love editing, like all of those things are good things to me, but mostly yeah, just posting it and then being able to communicate with all you guys about, you know, like same things like that we're all interested in and I think that's kind of cool. And the pain about being a YouTuber, I don't really think there's any pain about it. I mean, I don't really get much hate yet, <laughs> but even if I do get it, I try to ignore it. But maybe, I don't even know, there's no pain about being a YouTuber, I, I really love it. So Sang Sanji3, I hope I'm saying your name right, she asked a long question. <gasps> Her question disappeared. Oh no, I screenshotted it, thank you very much. <laughs> she asked, when is your birthday? My birthday is on the 26th of June and what university do you go to? I prefer not to say what university I go to just in case there's like weird stalkers or anything but I go to uni somewhere in London well like close to me, it's a bit far actually but yeah so in that London area um, what drugstore and high-end concealer would you recommend for discoloration skin? but um, if you watch my five top concealer video that would, that would that's basically the answer to, to that question so make sure to go check that out she also asked when I'll be putting my mask video up that I talked about like the DIY hair mask that will be up soon I promise you I'm gonna be doing it because I need to do like a, I want to do like a hydrating DIY hair, face mask because my skin has been so dry and I really need to do that so I wanted to film that as well and the hair mask will be up very soon as well I just need to find time to film it because of uni and stuff and work but don't worry, you'll be up soon. Okay, so now I'm going to go on to the Instagram questions. So Mira asked, Hey lovely, if you could invent any type of beauty related product, uh, what would it be? Look forward to hearing your invention. And oh my god, can you see how gorgeous she looks in that little picture because I'm like inserting it here. She's so pretty. What product would I invent? I would make... I think I would definitely make a foundation because I'm obsessed. Probably a highlighter, I can't answer, like, I want to make my own brand one day, like my own makeup brand, um, and I've been doing so much research into it lately, and hopefully one day it will happen, but um, the, f the things that I would do is definitely foundation, highlighter, and a matte lip thing. Sindhu3 asks, what's the one beauty item you can't leave home without applying? I would say mascara, definitely. I always wear mascara. I don't I don't think I ever go out without mascara, which is quite bad. I just feel like my face is so bare without mascara. So yeah, that would be the product that I can't leave without, even though sometimes I go out with no makeup. But if I had to choose, if I wanted to put a little bit, it would definitely be a mascara. <laughs> Little Fighter Ant asked, who do you consider your biggest influence in style, fashion, and in makeup looks? My biggest influence would be Farah Dukai, she's so gorgeous and she's also like this kind of around the same skin tone, she's a bit lighter but she's just so pretty and like <sighs> her skin is amazing, her eyelashes are amazing and she's just so pretty and she's so genuine and sweet and I've been watching a snapchat and people have been saying oh why is she fake and stuff like I don't understand like how she's fake in any way but you know what, haters are always going to hate on me. Um, so yeah, Farah Dukai kind of also, I would also say Desi Perkins and like the Crispy and L uh, Katie from Lusta Lux. All them love are like my favourite YouTuber and Nikki Tutorials as well. <laughs> so It's Me Next asks, what translucent powder would you recommend? Mine tends to become grainy under the eye and what is your go-to lip combo? So translucent powder, I don't really use translucent. The one I've been using a lot lately since I got it is the Ben Eye Banana Powder, but that's obviously not translucent. But I would recommend the Rimmel Stay Matte Translucent or Transparent Powder. I used to use that so much, but then it broke and then I threw it away. And I need to get another one, but that one's really good and it's super affordable as well. And then my favorite go-to lip combo is definitely Gerard Cosmetics Lipstick in 1995 with the LA Girl Natural Lip Liner. That's like my go-to lip. So Camdela Cam 
asked favorite DIY beauty tips my favorite DIY beauty tips will be up soon but, but so it's gonna be like the hair mask and also the face mask and I don't really know what other DIY beauty tips gosh I got scared there I thought it wasn't recording and I'm like okay I see that red thing over there I know you're recording <laughs> so she also asked or he asked what is your day job I don't really have a day job I work part-time only because I go to uni at, in the week and I just work as a like part-time customer assistant in a store I'm not gonna say for which store but it's just a normal retail store and yeah that's what I work as part-time yeah. <laughs> So Chark Sloan asks, what's your favourite product for a flawless but not cakey fade? For my base, I always tend to go towards like um, my Mo Garnier Moisture Match Cream, then I use my Smashbox Primer Water, and then what else do I go for? And then my foundation, I always change it up, but my favourite one is Nara Sheer Glow, and I've been loving this Maybelline one. Um, but can, let's just like not like you can have like makeup with this foundation but I've packed a lot on today um, but it's a nice foundation for every day the Maybelline Fit Me one and yeah and I also like to use my sleek bare kissed highlighter I think that's what it's called in Monaco like just under my foundation before applying it and it gives you such a nice dewy finish and I really love that I don't know how to say I think it's Jin no Jin J X Natara I'm gonna say that asked what is your favorite lip color to wear whether it's pinky browns reds and etc etc so like I said it's the Gerald Cosmetics 1995 lipstick but I have a MAC haul coming soon, I'm still waiting for it to come in and I've bought so many brownie shades and stuff so make sure to stay tuned for that colour, that, uh, that colour, that video and I'm going to have swatches and everything and I'm so excited to get it in and like try the lipsticks and stuff but yeah I did buy many brown lipsticks and like nudie ones for, and then um, I could say like which ones are best for brown skin so yeah but yeah for now it's the gel cosmetics 1995 lipstick like that's my go-to one to be honest oh so um jx natara also asked two more questions and it's how did you motivate you how did you motivate yourself to revise during a levels so to be honest i didn't really need to motivate myself because i actually enjoy revising now i don't like reading like in general like books and stuff i don't know why but it's so bad i need to start reading but it's just, i just get so bored but I did really enjoy revising at home in my second year of A-levels or my third year. I kind of flopped my exams because that's the year when I started YouTube and then I started working as well and, I kind of, and then there was an issue with my age so I couldn't really attend school because they couldn't fund me so I was literally learning from home and they were like they paid for my exams and stuff but it kind of really set me back a bit and I could have, do you know what, I could have done it but I just slacked so bad so I definitely recommend thinking I definitely suggest thinking about how important you, your exams are and really try and motivate yourself like I don't know like try and make it fun with like pens and stuff and like colors that's how I like to revise because I know I'm going to start writing with my colored, colored pens or get some new pens because I'm obsessed with pens um, but yeah that's what I would say just try and think about the end result like the exam like how everyone's going to be so proud of you when you're going to get your good results and stuff try and think about that that's what i would say that was what would that's what motivated me my um second year a levels but in my third year kind of flopped it a bit but it's okay i'm in a good uni at the moment and it's fine i got lucky <laughs> yeah i hope i answered your question on that one and she also asked favorite drugstore highlighter oh the makeup revolution Radiant Light in Glow. What's your favourite highlighter of all time? Okay, so I don't know if you can see on camera, but I just bought the Becca Champagne Pop highlighter and it's so pretty. That's the one I'm obsessed with if it's high end, but drugstore is the Radiant Light in Glow by Makeup Revolution. So P Nails asked, what do you do at uni? I, I um, study economics and accounting. And how did you meet your boyfriend? And do your parents know how did they react? So my boyfriend, I met him, so it's been six years that we're together now, and I met him at school in France, 
and we started being friends at first and then we kind of like started to date and then it just became really serious so yeah it's been quite that's how we met at school really yeah so my mum knows him um, he actually lives with me and my mum and my siblings and stuff and my mum's fine with it my dad's alright with it I mean my parents are really like open I'm not really like a bad girl or like you know like I'm not a rebel <laughs> I do things right I go to school I work I support my my parents and yeah it's just all cool all normal <laughs> um so Anani asked I hope I'm saying your name right um asked are you at uni and what are you studying like I said I am at uni and I I study economics and accounting. How many siblings do you have? I have my younger sister and my two younger brothers. My sister is 16, my brother is 18 and the youngest one is 10. And where do you see yourself in five years? I really, really see myself in five years, well I'm 25. I just hope that I'm doing YouTube still. I really, I, do you know what, I don't hope, I know I will be doing YouTube but I do hope my, my channel grows and that I'll be able to do it like full time because to be honest I don't know what career to go into I don't know what to do and I've been looking a lot into creating my own business um, so hopefully I will have that up and running in five years time hopefully let's all cross our fingers <laughs> so Shana Raj asks will you continue your YouTube journey in the future as well like I said definitely I won't ever stop I don't see myself ever stopping I I'm obsessed with making videos on YouTube I'm seriously obsessed I just love making them and it's just so fun to me and it makes me happy and it makes you guys happy as well so I just love doing it so I don't see myself ever stopping okay I can't say this but um, she asked who what inspired you to start YouTube I can't speak today she asked who what inspired you to start your YouTube channel um, so before starting my YouTube channel, I started, like, I was always on YouTube watching makeup gurus and just watching makeup videos all the time. It was like my TV. You know what? My interest in makeup has come from, like, when I was younger because my mum used to put makeup on me. I used to, like, go through her makeup and she would shout at me. And I used to be always obsessed with makeup. And through time and watching YouTube videos, I kind of practiced more and also my boyfriend really encouraged me as well like he was like make a video like make a youtube channel he's like do you need to make one and i'm like and at one point i was like okay 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 and he kept saying it and then i eventually just made one and yeah so that's the end of this video and thank you to all of you that um asked your questions it really means a lot thank you so much for watching and make sure to like this video if you did enjoy it and subscribe for more videos and let me know what you would like to see next in the comments below and until next time i'll see you then bye